So let's start course two, even though we're not done course one. The new Womp Cane. Oh boy. Wonder how much of a challenge he'll be. Hello, sir. Welcome to Skyland Resort. Oh, great. Where's the roller coasters? I would like to be able to tell you this is a place to relax and enjoy a view, but unfortunately, we are having some trouble lately. One of Bowser's wacky troops calling himself the new Womp Cane has shown up and he's threatening to take over this beautiful place. The residents are too scared to even their, leave their houses. Well, don't worry, we'll show that we'll show that dick a thing or two. The question is, where is he? can hear him. Up there? Maybe he's right behind me, so let's just take these escalators. Oh! This was in the trailer, this windmill that's right next to me. Ah, screw you. Ah, jeez, the cameras are... the camera is terrible. I mean, I know that's the fact that the camera is terrible in hacks and stuff, but... <sighs> is he on top of this windmill or something? I didn't even know I was supposed to go up here. I just did a wall jump and then suddenly I saw that. Okay, just as the new Womp came, but... Okay, if I'm at the windmill, he's not anywhere on the windmill. It's just leading me to a star. Oh, I see him. I see him in the background right over there. See, kids? When in doubt, just pause. That's all you need to do. Damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Kind of a clever idea to use a vase, you know? Is there actually any alter alternation or I can't speak today. Is there any kind of alternative ways to get up there? Judging by my surroundings, I guess not. Maybe if I actually go that way and that way, but I could just go that way and yeah, I'll just take this route. After all that frustration in that secret world to get the two secret stars, I just can't speak anymore. I mean, not like I've been speaking during those montages, because I knew I was going to fail, like, lots of times, so... Yeah. So, what do I do from here? Go to here, I see. And here we go, the Womp Cane. And this time, there's holes, so we have to be careful on where we ground pound. That's actually quite a genius idea for a little upgrade. Hey, you know what, that's what... That's exactly what um, Galaxy 2 should have done. Because as you know, in Super Mario Galaxy 2, they actually recreated the Womp's Fortress. So, here we go, let's fight off this boss. Hey! You're the plumber who defeated the old Womp King, girl. But he's not... He was not fit for King. Just a pathetic stepping stone. Wait, okay, so if... If stepping stone is what you would say humans are calling an insult of you, then why are you calling him a pathetic stepping stone? Oh, well. Well, don't think I'll be anything like that. Stack of cobble. Don't think I'll be anything like that, stab a cobble. I'm a whole new slab. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, maybe the time for him to get up is decreased. 
Yeah, the time for him to get it up is decreased. Son of a bitch. It's much more harder for the fact that I'm doing this on keyboard. And for the fact that his time is decreased for getting back up. And then, of course, the number amount of hits. For the Womp King, or not the Womp King, Big Bomb Mob, it was four. So I guess this guy's still three. It's just to get back up as time is decreased. Why do you step on us like we are nothing? Maybe you will finally learn a thing or two when the rest of us arrive. Wahahaha. <laughs> Well, trust me, we like to be friends with you just as much as we like to be friends with Aileen and just as much as we would like to stop all the racism in the world. Unfortunately, we can't. But hey, it's not like it's impossible to actually agree with one another. Don't worry, Womp King. Eventually, you'll fit into the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, heck, you've been fit able to fit in Mario Party games, so I don't see why it would not work. Just stop working for Bowser. Hooray, Bowser! Wait, hooray! Bowser is causing more chaos every minute. How is that hooray? How? Oh wait! Oh no, that's hurry. Oh my God. Okay, due to that frustration, I'm already losing my mind. So I'm ha. Okay, hurry! Bowser is causing more chaos every minute. You have enough power stars to break the seals on the doors to Chuckia Harbor and Gloomy Garden. So get there and hunt down some more power stars. Okay, so that means these doors here. The power of your stars has broken the seal on this door. I'm just going to check it out. I'm not going to do the levels yet. Okay, simple water on the side. So utterly useless. So this is the uh, Chuckia Harbor, so we're going to meet a bunch of these annoying little pests. But we're not going to do this level yet, and I've seen this level in the trailer as well. And yeah, of course, um, 3 is on the outside just down there, but... I'll just check out the other course and then continue doing course 2, and depending on what time it is I may stop this let's play because I really have to be going I have to really get to bed before 12 because of school and stuff yeah so in here yep the invincible cap okay you know that's kinda genius actually showing uh, that was a little glitch there showing the boos there that actually are from the Super Mario World game so big boost, tower, gloomy garden. Whoa! This is an exact matchup of the whole Super Mario Galaxy 2. Congratulations, this is, looks awesome. And then we get a black bomb mob instead of a blue one. Okay, never mind. Brr, this place gives me the creeps, Mario. I don't really fancy hanging around with these ghosts much longer. It's a shame the Vanishing Cap Switch is in this place. Oh, thank you for telling me. So, I guess um, I'll do Course 2, then Course 3, and then whenever I get to the point where I have to use the Vanishing Cap, I will eventually come here, so thanks for telling me. There's no telling where those mischievous ghosts could have hit it. Oh, well that's a relief. Wait. No, that was just a boo. Okay, I can't see it from where I am right now, but that doesn't matter. That's actually a good effect, the little fog effect down below. I'm not sure if that was in another level. I don't think there was another level where it had that little fog effect. But that is actually quite genius. So yeah, I'll just continue on with Course 2. I don't know what happened there, but that was amazing. So, climb the windmill. So, that was what I was doing earlier. So, has the mischief stopped? Ah, oh, it's you again! I saw you defeat the Womp King, and you have my genuine thanks for it. However, it looks like it was not enough to stop his dreadful plan. Some of his troops have arrived, but hopefully in time, we will manage to drive them all out. 
Now, hopefully. Oh, oh my... That's another bad thing with using the keyboard. So let's do that again, because that was an epic fail. I hate using the keyboard version, or the keyboard control. Ugh. Come on, little elevator. Take me up and take me home. Let's kill this SLB. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's a pretty good windmill, considering we'd never see a windmill that is ever inside a... Like, Super Mario 64 level at all. And then... Chances are, these enemies are going to be reoccurring in most places. Wait, this side was never open. Which means there are alternations whenever you complete the first level. Well, that's a genius idea. So it looks like I have to un unlock um, the green cap or the metal cap in order to get the star that's up there. That is, if it is a star. <laughs> but it's more likely a star than not. Okay, I'll jump. I think it's easier from a side view. Damn it. Okay. Not bad, so far. Ah! I jumped! I jumped! I swear to god, I jumped. Hmm, might be actually easier to actually play it in the Mario point of view. A bitch, but it might be easier. Huh, perfect landing, Mario. Okay, I'm already failing this. Get out of this view. Okay, let's try this again without screwing up the camera. Ugh. Ugh. I hate the keyboard. I freaking hate the keyboard. I wish I could do this on controller, which I'm pretty sure I can. <sighs> okay, this is more than frustrating. Get in there, Mario. Now, time to climb back up the windmill all over again. So I hope you're enjoying this, kids. Ah, jeez. I meant to do a backflip. Right onto this guy. Camera sucks. Oh, thank you, Thwomp, for saving me. For a Bowser minion, you sure help. Jeez. I keep on pressing the K button, which is my C down. Oh my god. This is... this is so embarrassing. Ugh. 
There's a little wall or ceiling part up there. Oh my god. Stop it, Mario. You're not making this game fun when you're screwing up like that. And I thought that one level was hard. Son of a bitch. Can I make a jump over there? I might be able to. Camera's a bitch. Screw you, camera. I hate this camera. Oh my god! I literally slapped my face during that. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it from here and actually... Uh, cut to the point where I actually get on those boxes and then up to the area I need. See you guys soon. Oh, you gotta be kidding. But I made it! The tip was that I was kinda too zoomed out, but I did it. Now time for a little bit of water that I forgot was on the side. Tap water, but whatever, it's water. Alright, time for more of Womp's Fortress in a Windmill. Sky... Skyland Resort. So the Flying Stepping Stones. Flying Stepping Stones. Where am I supposed to go for that? I mean, it doesn't indicate... I mean, I don't think that really indicates any sign of a... of the metal cap at all. Did the music change? Oh, classic Mario. Nice. Although I prefer the original. No offense. Right. So far, so good. Let's see if I can get myself up here. So far, this Let's Play doesn't really meet my expectations on how good I really wanted it, but whatever. There we go. I was waiting for that guy to get up here. Hello, bomb mob. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Come on, you gotta be talkable somehow. Thank you. I'm so glad that big brute is gone. I was beginning to think you spelled beginning wrong. I'd never see the sunlight again. But then again, I think I'm playing an earlier version of this game, considering the signs from the beginning aren't there, so he may have actually changed the spelling for that. Ugh, stupid camera. The camera just doesn't make things any better.
There we go. Okay, so up here is a red coin, and then... Just a bunch of yellow coins. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So what does it mean by stepping stones? I mean... I mean, hopefully it doesn't... I mean, hopefully it's not the green cap that it's been talking about. And I never saw that plant there. Ooh, that's a little risky. How the heck are you supposed to get that without sliding? It's so peaceful just to sit down by the pond. You're standing up dancing and watch the fish swim around. Ah, not what I meant to do. Let's just see what's down here anyway. A little cage, and I presume that's where I'm supposed to use the invincible cap. So, stepping stones, what is this referring to? The flying stepping stones. Chances are I may refer to the green cap switch, so chances are I may not be able to do this. But I'll just proceed on because I haven't been in this area yet. That was a good way to get to this area. Let's carry on. Oh, just switch, you stupid camera. It doesn't switch around. It's being a jerk. No thanks to the fact that I have a keyboard that doesn't really give me the ability to walk slow and a terrible camera, I can't really approach that plant even though the camera doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay, so, so I think I'm actually at a point where I can't really do anything at the moment because the stepping stones may refer to the may refer to though okay how many stars did I get okay so if there's six levels then what is that yellow thing on top I guess that's a secret that I'll find out about later on so if two stars so there's two areas where apparently I had to go through bars in order to get to a star so two one okay so the so the the only thing I can do there is probably the eight red coins, but since I can't do anything there and I wasted some time, but hey, that's what happens when you're playing a blind let's play, Nitsa. Let's carry on.